good Tuesday morning. I hope each of you has been able to enjoy this beautiful spring-like weather lately and are soaking in the glory of the changing seasons. I know that it has definitely helped my spirits and definitely brought me a lot of joy to wake up to sunny mornings. Um, so what I want to share with you today, Pastor Scott and I were talking yesterday, <clears throat> and through the course of our conversation, we were talking about how, well, I was saying to him that I thoroughly enjoyed Sunday's sermon, but I so often enjoy the sermons because even though he is our pastor, even though he is my boss, even though he is my mentor that I look up to, and when I have liturgical questions and things such as that, he is relatable. He is human. He is open with all of us. Um, and I, I find it the same with Lori and with Jennifer. You know, they have such a bank of knowledge. They have such immense experience. But I don't feel as though they are here. I am here. And they are preaching to me. They're in the trenches with me. They are helping me sort out everyday life with God's word. And so I was telling Scott this. I said, you know, I really appreciate and enjoy the way that I seem to relate so often to what you are saying because you are able to explain God's words in a way that applies to me. And I think at this point in time, and maybe I'm just talking to myself, and if so, then I will do my best to listen loud and clear and thank you all for bearing with me. But I think some of us oftentimes think that, well, I should, I should be there. I should be knowledgeable in this, whether it's being a son, whether it's being a wife, whether it's being a father, whether it's being an aunt, whether it's being a teacher, whether it's being a doctor, we don't ever stop learning. Or at least I would hope to heaven's sakes that the physician that I go to has not stopped increasing their knowledge level because the medical industry is always changing and ever evolving. I would hope that the teachers that are teaching my children have not stopped educating themselves because Unfortunately, education continues to grow and change and evolve. And it is the same with every single thing, whether it is life, whether it is parenting, whether it is friendship, whether it is a relationship of any sort, including our relationship with God. No one is expected to be at the point of perfection today. No one is expected to have it all together. And that was something Scott and I were talking about that, you know, it seems so interesting that we share with all of you, whether it's on our daily devotions, whether it's on a Sunday morning that they're sharing. And so often it seems as though we are really truly sharing to ourselves. We have the ability to share and be inspired by God, but we don't have any more knowledge level than you do in the sense of life itself. They have a lot more liturgical knowledge, yes, but the fact that we sit and allow ourselves to be inspired by God and share that inspiration with you does not mean that we aren't going through the trenches, it does not mean that we aren't having struggles. Just because someone is in a position, like I said, whether it is education, whether it is sales, banking, well, accounting, I couldn't probably, I couldn't do what they do. Whatever it may be, no one's at that peak of perfection. Don't expect yourself to be there. Know that we can still share with others. We can still inspire others. We can still 
share what God has given us to share, we don't have to be at the point of perfection and think, oh, I can't tell them this because I'm still struggling with it too. If God has put it on your heart to say thank you to someone, if God has put it on your heart to say, I'm thinking of you, I support you, you've done a great job. Hey, have you tried this? And share it. Because when God speaks to your heart, that is that nudge to go speak to someone else. I'm going to share with you a card. And I was given this card, oh my gosh, probably three years ago. It still stands on my shelf in my office because I read it on occasion and it brightens my day. But I want you to think of this card for yourself. Because each one of us has our own area that this card can speak to. It says, if you ever wondered if you've served in a way that has touched someone's life, or if you've inspired faith and hope when they are needed most, or if you've lived in a way that shows others just how good God really is, then I'm one who can assure you Yes, you have. God has used you to make a difference in so many lives. God uses you. Whether you think you're at that point that you want to be or not, whether you think you're where you need to be, don't hold yourself to such high standards. Just know that God uses you to make a difference in the lives of others. Embrace that. Embrace those nudges from God and share his love and allow that to bring joy into your heart. I hope as you go through this week and enjoy this gorgeous weather. We live in Missouri. We never know how long it's going to last. I hope that you also embrace the fact that God is using you. You may not be where you think you need to be and that's okay. You are where he knows you need to be. God uses you where you are for so many reasons. Have a blessed week. Know that you are loved and know that you are appreciated for what you do for others. For so many of you, whether it's an encouraging word, whether it's a hug in the days when we could hug, or whether it's a beautiful card such as this, have touched my life and inspired me, and I thank you for that. Have an amazing week, friends.